Okay, today we're talking about a digital manifold gauge set. So if you're an HVAC technician, this one costs right around 150 bucks on Amazon.com. There's the part number. Comes in this nice heavy duty case. Keep it organized and safe. Comes with your temp clamps, your hoses. I like the digital manifold gauges because it gives you a wider range of different refrigerants that are in use today. So we'll turn it on. Has a light to light up the screen. See, it's a pretty self-explanatory user interface. It'll read pressure, temperature. And we can scroll through the different refrigerants. Whereas again, if you're using just a standard analog uh, gauge manifold, you're going to be limited to what is on the gauge face. Whereas this has several different types of refrigerant it can measure. Wow. Just a quick disclaimer, this is not a paid promotion for any make, model, or brand you see on this video. I'm just trying to give you some insight and help if you're thinking about becoming an HVAC technician or if you're using the old school analog gauges, maybe think about upgrading to a digital manifold gauge set. Nice construction, has a built-in hook so you can hang it, non-slip grips on the side, battery operated. Let's take a look at the specs. So you can see the different units and the pressure test range and the accuracy. And again, it reads Fahrenheit or Celsius and temperature test range from negative 40 up to 302. So here's the temp clamps and they simply plug into the unit. Here's the plug. There's T1, T2, and the ports stayed covered up when you're not using them to keep them clean. You can see it comes with a nice long cord. So we'll turn it on. There you can see the temperature reading. So it's nice, you can even read the ambient temperature in the space. So I'll, I'll crimp it to my finger. You can see the temperature is rising, reading my body heat. Turn it off. Then we'll take a look at the hoses. You see it even comes with some extra seals for the hoses. It does not come with low loss fittings or ball valves. So I'd recommend buying low loss fittings or ball valves separately, which is what I did. Here's mine. And the kit also came with these adapters as well. We'll take a look at the user's manual right quick. So it tells you what the buttons do. Shows you the refrigeration cycle. I hope this information helps you. Please like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, and thanks for watching.